Hello and many thanks for joining me, Elvis, for yet another Somerset Reader really review. Uh, I've got here a uh, beer from my mate Ant, or Tony, or Anthony. I call him Ant, everyone else calls him a different name. It's from the Barnsley Beer Company, it's called Get the Cure That's Pulled. That is my rubbish Yorkshire accent. Um, this one's uh, sort of, hopefully, hopefully uh, Stuart Pickard and um, Rob Derbyshire will, uh, will watch this review and laugh at my crap accents throughout because there's a bit that I'm going to read out on there in, and an attempt to do it in a Yorkshire accent. I can't, I don't, you're not going to be able to see that very well. I'm trying to get it so you can see it, but it's like the light isn't shining well. I'm going to read it out anyway. Anyway, it is a 4% ABV romantic ruby red ale in a 500ml brown bottle. Let's fire it open. Wow, massive, massive uh, puff of smoke on the top there. Look at all that bad boy coming out there. Let's uh, get it in the glass around the right way. I keep swapping chairs in here to try and get the light right, but um, I get confused. I don't know which hand to do what. Wow. Look at that. Oh, there's a load of... Oh, it looks like it was bottle conditioned. I've stirred the... Uh, pardon my French, but I've stirred the shit out of this beer. I just presumed it wasn't bottle conditioned. And uh, it's a bit late now because... I poured it out, but I mean, apart from the fact that there's a cobweb on the bottom, there is chunks of everything in there, and that is my fault because I just presumed it was um, a forced carbonated beer, and it's not. It's uh, it was bulk conditioned, but you can see it is ruby red, nice, lovely ruby colour, loads and loads of carbonation, one finger sort of tan coloured head. Let's see what she smells of. Well, not she, that's not right. Uh, just ignore that bit. Sorry, my brother sat over there as I was <laughs> determined to get him to laugh. <laughs> not when you say that. <laughs> oh, wow. That um, smells incredibly fruity. Plums. Plummy, sort of, you know, um, sort of British fruits, you know, as opposed to your sort of citrusy, you know, hoppy character fruits. Is. It's, um, yeah, it is. It's just like, you know, British fruits, like um, blackberries and things like that. For, you know, hedge, hedge fruits, hedge, hedge, hedge berries, hedgerow berries, something like that. There is a specific name for it, but. Um, well, I'm going to dig into it because, like I say, I'm worried about those chunks of yeast on the bottom there. But, you know, it, it is quite clear, apart from that. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Right, there's a lot of flavour in there, getting some chocolate malt in there, a lot of fruity zestiness, but there is a slight metallic twang to it. It could be the yeast, um, because I've stirred it up so much, so we shan't worry about that too much. Mental amount of carbonation in it. Foams up straight away in your mouth, so it's hard to taste the beer straight away. I'm gonna pour the rest in just because I might as well, because I've stirred up so much of it. You can see the remnants of the yeast cake on the base. Um, <clears throat> get the core, 4%. Three little words that mean so much. Romance has always been so close. At any time, I'm not going to stop doing that because it's just going to annoy someone, it's bound to be wrong. Any tykes heart and wallet. And now here's a delicious ruby red ale to help celebrate any special occasion. We think our range of beers make an ideal complement to food. Why not try Get the Core over a candlelight dinner of hot chops and pig's heart infused with jus de passion? Oh my god, I don't even know what that means. Um, right. Uh, Barnsleybeercompany.co.uk. I'm going to actually check that website out because they seem quite funny that they're sort of really going for the Yorkshire type thing. Um, well, it doesn't say anything about the style of beer or other well, not the style of beer, but the, you know whether it's supposed to be bottle conditioned or. Ugh. Pardon me. Um, well, I don't know what that means. Great, great we snap. Great, somebody from Yorkshire inform me what that means. Great we we snap with. Don't know what it means. Um, 
southerners. What, what, you know, I mean, <laughs> we don't know this sort of thing. Um, this is drawing out a long time now. Right, sum it up. It's a nice beer. Um, you get a nice sort, you get those nice sort of flavours you would expect from a ruby. Quite a bit of carbonation in it. Um, the metallic twang has sort of died down a bit now, and I've got used to the taste of the beer. Like I said, I think that was my fault for stirring up the yeast cake. Definitely buy it again. Rating wise, it's getting a 7 out of 10 from me. I've tasted better, but I've also tasted a lot worse. Cheers, Anne. Thanks very much for the beer. Lovely job. I shall be reviewing your other ones sometime soon. I'm going to let everyone go now so I can just relax and drink the rest of it. Cheers, everyone.